seven out there. Just a, you know, normal day at sea. Well, Beverly and I have uh, decided to um, come to Bangor um, for the winter. Fortunately, Gaynor did not turn into a monster, but the monster was coming along behind us. A big blow was on the way, so we ran into our glass to wait it out. So, Gaynor, why are we staying today? Well, it's four seven out there. Just a you know, normal day at sea, which is why we're here in our glass. <laughs> and I know people say on video that you don't really see the waves, and I know what they mean. It always looks worse in reality than it does on the video, but it's pretty damn hairy out there. This is the entrance to the harbour, which is round past those cardinal boys and things like that and then the marina is in behind the rubble wall and we are very grateful for that rubble wall because it really does take the worst of the foresight and over there in the distance you can just make out the mast of the boat Neither the seals nor the fishermen were going out, so we decided we were going to stay in as well. Well, in one of our videos, we said we were going off to Greystones, didn't we, Beth? We did, but we also said in the next video that we were going to go to Bangor. So, which is true. Uh, when we were coming, going off to Greystones, we had engine problems, the weather was worsening, and all sorts of stuff, and we just thought, do you know what, rather than trying to battle the autumn storms and all that kind of stuff um, and the weather's and the days are getting shorter and they're getting colder and the weather's getting worse, autumn gales are coming in and really that's not the sort of weather we want to be sailing in. I mean, yeah, it might be exciting to watch on video, but it's not particularly good for the crew. We've got a new motto aboard, haven't we? Uh, it's basically, we want to enjoy our sailing, not endure Dure. it. Yes, exactly. So, so we decided that um, what would be best is to go to Bangor, Northern Ireland. Um, we found out that, that it had uh, a great deal on, which meant that um, putting our boat uh, there in the marina would cost six pounds a night. Yeah. Um, for six months. Yeah. And, and it's on the edge of Belfast Lock. We've got th three marinas here, all very good marinas, two of them with five gold anchors. And it's a shallow piece of water, Belfast Lock. It's sheltered on most sides, only really open to the northeast or the east. So we're hoping that we can sail all year round here. None of these marinas are tidally gated, um, you know, and if the if you're out there and the weather comes in quickly, 
you can get to one of the three marinas quite easily. So um, we decided that we'd go to Bangor, Northern Ireland, because Bev's mum lives in Carrick, Fergus. So that means that we have to go out and sail across the lot even if it's just to go and see Bev's mum. Yeah, so we are guaranteed that we have to leave. If we had stayed in Carrick, she'd be down every other day and I'd get nothing done. Yeah. Um, the other big announcement... <laughs> ...is we've made a decision that if we're going to do... We're going to be doing some extras. Um, and um, the extras are really up to what you, um, our viewers, want to see. Bev and I have decided to do our Yacht Masters, haven't we, Bev? Mm -hmm. So we're going to be doing um, training and going over things that's to do with the Yacht Masters. So if there's anything that you need to know about that, then do give us, drop us a line. Um, but um, we decided that the Yacht Masters, uh, the extras are going to be not announced on Facebook and yeah, social media. Yeah, basically, when, when we announce the other stuff on social media and things like that, if we were announcing a couple of extras each week and things like that, we'd be spamming the place. It would be full of little announcements from us promoting videos, things like that. And I think we'd get asked to leave certain groups if we did that. So rather than do that, we're just going to put them up on YouTube. Everybody will still be able to see them. But if you want a notification of when they've gone up, the only way to get that through the YouTube mechanism is to subscribe to the channel because that's how YouTube works. So if you subscribe to us using the little prudence icon in the corner or the big red one underneath, um, then you will get a notification anytime we put an extra up. If you don't subscribe, you'll just have to come to the channel and look and see if they're there. But the main videos, which come out on Thursdays, 11.30, they will still be announced on social media where we can do so. And uh, basically, um, it's up to you what you want to find out. Um, we're going to be doing an Eberspacker service. Um, but one of our subscribers wanted to know how we did our side panels. So we'll do that too. So we'll do that too. Um, but then we've got nobody asking us about how we did our, our um, auto arch. well our autopilot oh the autopilot yes we still have all the raw footage from that so we could put a video together if there was a demand for it but if there's know. no demand then Bev's quite I've happy got to... other, I've got lots of other <laughs> things to do Bev's got loads to do so um, but that's up to you yeah if there's a particular thing you want to go over yeah um, and also on the Yacht Master it's up to you what you want to know so the plan is to over winter in Belfast Loch, um, we'll be bouncing around between Carrick, uh, Abercorn Basin and Bangor. And um, uh, and then we're in the ideal position to go out in March, well, in April bro, really. Yeah. And it was uh, straight south. Um, basically, we want to explore the south coast and we haven't decided if we we're going to go around Ireland to go to the south. Basically, go north first, then west, then south. Uh, or just to go along the south coast twice um, but again that's up to you what you want to see if there's anywhere that you particularly want us to go then mm -hmm. we're quite happy but it's Ireland uh, is what we're exploring next year isn't it Bev? It is yes. Um, anything else? No that's Oh uh, yeah we do have um, a Salty Lass um, website and uh, we have a, a newsletter subscribe and at the moment um we've got no subscribers to that so obviously no emails from that but if you do want to get one um uh we, we want about 100 people subscribe before we even do well, that since you're, since you're bringing up the mail list thing if people do want to subscribe to the mail list notifications about the youtube stuff for extras could go on the mail list exactly so that's a different way of um yeah. finding out about extras and stuff is on the mail list but i do want to be hammering other people's facebook groups that's just not nice no no we've definitely extras uh extras are one thing extras are for subscribers yeah. either the newsletter or the um youtube mechanism youtube mechanism but they're not for social media they're no. extra so anyway, with that, it's now uh, back to our main feature. <laughs> <laughs>
and I are hopefully on our last sale of our trip because we're going to our new home uh, which is in Bangor, Northern Ireland. Um, we've got a great deal for the winter six months and um, when we were bobbing around uh, in the summer months we realised that this was a great place that we could actually winter overnight because there's a quite a few short sales, two hours kind of sales um, and um, we will be able to do some um, project work as well so we're hopeful it'll be a good night a season but there's loads for us to do uh, over the winter months we've got project work that we're going to do there's a um, Boats always need upgrades and we're going to do them over the winter months. But the main thing we're going to do is Bev and I have decided to do our uh, Yacht Master. So there's loads of things like man overboard procedures. Um, I need to improve my um, boat handling in marinas and all sorts of stuff. So we're going to do that over the winter months. So I'm hoping you will enjoy our winter season. And it's also fair to say that if you want to stay on the north shore of Belfast Lock, Carrick is uh, also an excellent marina that offers a very good winter berthing package. Yes, both of the marinas uh, offered um, a good winter berthing package. Um, Carrick Fergus did actually work out marginally cheaper um, because they give you, uh, for your first contract, five months for the price of six sorry six months for the, the price, price of five. five so getting one month free is an excellent deal yeah and the only reason we're going to Bangor is some of the stuff we need is in and around Bangor and uh, also we don't know anyone in Bangor so we're more likely to get our project work done <laughs> the people in Carrick are so nice that we might never get anything done because we'll always be having cups of tea yeah, we do like our cups of tea as well, but um, we do like to get our projects done. The other um, advantage for us to be on the North Shore... South Shore. Sorry, the South Shore. The South Shore is there's two very good anchorages. And uh, again, one of the things that you have to be able to do it, uh, for your Yacht Master is um, drop your anchor under sail and lift your anchor under sail so seeing as we've only done three anchorages this year we need a lot more practice on the dropping that air anchor <laughs> 